Hi, my name is Scott Wood. I'm here at the NAMM Show 2019 with Harman, the Soundcraft presentation, the UI24R. We have a brand new firmware coming out. It's actually available the first day of NAMM, so it's available to download from the Soundcraft website. What the, some of the major features that this brings you is the new feature called cascading. You can connect one Ethernet cable between the first unit and the second unit, and that gives you a 32-channel bi-directional bus going 24-70 between the two units. That allows you to take anything you have on the second unit and bus it over to the first unit or to the first unit back to the second unit in less than one millisecond. The next major feature of this new release is called the info page. In the last release, we introduced Big Desktop. Big Desktop gives you the gain where you can set up your, your gain staging between your mic pre's and your input channels. Once you have your gain staging set up, I can click on any channel and adjust the compressor, the gate, and the EQ very easily stepping through channels. Once you have the input set up, I can adjust the outputs of all the channels. Every channel has its aux sends and its effects sends, including changing uh, things in the effects processors. Once you have the inputs and the outputs set up, which we've had in the last release, new to this release is the new info page. Info page is designed to be really fast in real-time operation of your mix. For example, oftentimes with user interfaces, people have to remember where the cancel button is, where the go to button is, where the back button is, on all these different dialogues. The big advantage of the info page is it allows me to quickly navigate through anything. I can double tap on this EQ and it brings up this EQ to quickly adjust. If I double tap off of the control, it brings me back. The advantage is I can do that with anything. I can do this on aux sense. Double tap off of control, it brings me right back. My preamps. Double tap off of control, it brings me right back. So everything has the same navigation. Everything can be done quickly and everything can be done just with two clicks. It, which is great to use when you're doing a live show. But then there's other times when you're not going to be there. There's another event on Tuesday. It's just an acoustic piano, a uh, acoustic guitar, and maybe a couple of, of wireless mics. I have a, a view group here just for Tuesday, which I have the piano, acoustic guitar, a couple of wireless mics, a little bit of reverb, and a master fader. But it's not only that, the lighting person is not going to be there on Tuesday night. I'm going to set up a UDP system here where I send a message to the lighting controller to change the lights to red, to change the lights to white during the break, to change the lights during to a different setting while the band is playing, and then at the end of the night, almost most important, I want to change, have them turned off so they don't come back three days later and all the lights were left on for three days. So this is just three new features in the Soundcraft UI 24R 3.0 firmware update. It's available free on the Soundcraft UI 24 webpage. You can download. There's also an updated manual. That manual is, is of course free to download on the webpage and it's available now from soundcraft.com.